I bet you didn't know that there's a Bob Ross inspired, or maybe influenced is a better word, movie coming out featuring Owen Wilson. It's called Paint, and Owen Wilson plays a star character named Clark Nargle, Vermont's number one TV painter, who is convinced he has it all. A signature perm, custom van, and fans hanging on his every stroke. Until a younger, better artist steals everything and everyone Carl loves. Now you can easily see Clark's character is obviously based off Bob Ross, which is kind of fun to see how Owen Wilson's gonna play. You can see how in tune he is with nature, how he's got the ASMR voice, how his words of wisdom shine through the TV to reach a wider audience, and literally how everyone is just hanging on every stroke of what Owen Wilson's character is doing. There is nothing like having the one you hold dearest, nearest, when the world turns cold. It looks like they really encapsulated Bob in this caricature of this character here, and it looks really fun. And I love the play of the fact that there's another younger artist on the horizon. And this kind of resonates with, I think, anyone that watches this channel out there. There's so many other artists out there that you're worried that may take your spot or your clout or anything like that. And I love this idea here. I really wished instead of perhaps it was um, a, a younger artist, I kind of wish they would have made another caricature out of the artist that was taking the place. Someone maybe based on like Bill Alexander, who's a little more way out there, kind of showing how it went from Bill to Bob. And now maybe in this movie, it went from Bob to Bill and how there's just like the calm voice to the more extravagant because that's what happens with evolution and the younger generation of people. It seems like it always gets louder and more provocative and more pushing the limits. I would say that would be kind of fun, but obviously I'm not a story writer for this. So why does my opinion matter? Just a thought I had. I am really interested to see all the art that they do. It looks more simplistic from the trailer that we get to see here, but I think that actually works well with the vision of the storytelling that it's gonna have. I think the character that Owen Wilson plays, Clark, looks fantastic, acts fantastic, and I think it would be just as eccentric as the trailer shows as that person would be in real life at that time and place um, for that profession and everybody that's obsessed with him. I'm really interested to see where the story's gonna go, the character arcs that will happen, but I'm really interested to see how this portrayal of an inspired Bob Ross, how their art career will transform through the movie. Will it evolve? Will it change? Or will he have to push the limits to keep up with the new perception of what he thinks people want due to a newer, younger artist? But I guess we'll have to wait and see. If you haven't had a chance to see the trailer, take a look. It's only less than two minutes and I'm gonna do you a favor and I'm gonna put it down below. I'm assuming it's probably gonna come out on a streaming service because it looks like it comes out through uh, IFC. Um, but I'll let you know through a post or you know a message or something like that. So make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and of course this YouTube channel here. But I am curious to know, what are your first impressions of the trailer? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think it's a blatant ripoff of Bob Ross? Which it is, by the way. But that's fine. I mean, he's a cultural icon. He's a pop culture icon. So I think he's a good source of inspiration. But I want to know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you thought of the art in the background. I think that'd be fun to discuss too. But check out the trailer and I will catch you guys all next time. Take care. And of course, peace.